Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. Today we are going to take out the air rifle, which we have not used in a very, very long time. And that is not an air rifle. This is an air rifle. And we're going to be using this thing today, trying to get ourselves some trophies here in multiplayer. And I do have the other guns with me, just in case we find something that is a higher class than what the air rifle can take. So, we do have those just in case, but we're going to try and focus mainly on the air rifle. And just see if we can get ourselves a couple nice trophies trophies. You know, one of the amazing things about using the air rifle is if you're using the Hyperion scope with it, the uh, different dots are exactly 50 meters apart, which is really good, uh, provided you are and he turned. Well, that's not gonna help us at all, but as I was saying, what? Dude, <laughs> things are tripping me out today. Our dog really sounded like another player for a second there. Uh, but anyway, as I was saying, and that one turned to, all right, well, we're going to go find something else. <laughs> you know, honestly, that's a much better one to use anyway. It's exactly 150 away and it's perfectly broadside. As I was saying though, uh, for example, we're zero to 100 meters right now and this guy's 150. So we just got to use this dot right here and it should hit perfectly. It does take a little bit of time for them to die. Actually. You know what? They honestly die a little bit faster than what I remember with the air rifle. We need to start using this thing a little bit more again, I think, if it kills that quick, because that's like three times as fast as the 223, which is honestly kind of crazy. If you guys were with the channel when we first started, you guys will probably remember that I used to use this thing a lot. I used to take lots and lots of diamonds with the air rifle. It was something I really enjoyed doing, but recently I've kind of strayed away from it for, I guess, more effective rifles like the 308 and the 303 and stuff like that. But I do occasionally like going back and using the air rifle. and. It is quite a fun rifle to use and it's very good at what it does. It's a silent killer that actually kills the animals pretty quickly. And as we can see, this guy didn't run far at all. So let's go ahead and pick it up. That is a 6430 level three male, got double lung from 152 meters. It pretty much landed right where we aimed. And it's honestly just kind of crazy that you can be this effective with an air rifle, but you can't with the 223. I really feel like that gun needs some kind of buff because if an air rifle is outperforming it at similar ranges, then something's wrong. And even though it won't give us a full score for it, I kind of want to use it on a turkey real quick just to see what it does. And yeah, that's kind of what I expected it to do. It just dropped it on the spot and it looks like we actually have some other stuff over here as well. Uh, that is a mule deer buck, but I think we'll leave these ones alone. However, that is a little bit more enticing there. Let's go back to 200 meters and see how this ends up working out. Uh, let's just make sure. Yes, it is giving us the correct distance. Let's try a 200 meter shot and see if it is comparable. Yeah, that looked pretty good. Going to assume we hit lung. Yep, we definitely did. Probably only a single lung but it still kills it pretty quickly. Oh my gosh, is that what I think it is? That is, that is a rare black bear. Oh my gosh, hold on. We gotta go ahead and take this out. <laughs> I have not seen one of these ever since the update. I have not seen a rare black bear ever since they made these fur types rare with the release of Mississippi Acres. This is the first one that we have found. Let's pick it up before anything weird happens. That is a brown male black bear. Let's tax that immediately because that is super, super cool. What a beautiful trophy. This is by far one of the coolest things that we have got as of recent. And you know, I've seen quite a few black bears since they uh, changed the rarity of some of these fur types and just never seen anything even close to being rare. But this is our first one right here. And of course it would be a level three. Like, why not? Of course, it'd be one of the smallest you could possibly get, but that's a great way to start the day out. Unfortunately, we couldn't shoot this with the air rifle, so we had to use the 308, but it's still really, really cool. My gosh, it is just sounding like a war zone around here because there's people like all around me. Uh, for some reason, everybody just decided to congregate to the southern part of the map, which is a little bit unfortunate. It's going to make it so we're going to constantly hear gunshots in the background. 
But we are about to figure out where this pronghorn is. I don't think it would have ran too much further, but it did run much farther than the double lung. Here it is. Let's real quickly swing by and grab it. It was actually a spine and single lung. Interesting. So that is not what I expected. I would have thought that would have just been single lung, but it does look like we got the vertebrae as well. Very interesting. Well, things just keep getting better. That is a level five Rocky Mountain Elk. We're off to an amazing start today. Um, that guy might be a troll though. And there's still people blasting like everywhere around me. It looks like we've got lucky enough to find the only place on the map that actually has some good stuff. It doesn't seem like anybody else is finding anything crazy, but this did seem to be a fresh map. So I would not be surprised if uh, some more good trophies are found, but as of now, it seems like we may have just picked the best part of this guy's map because we are finding trophies everywhere. Well, I mean, not really everywhere. It's two trophies, but still pretty crazy. Unfortunately, this guy's not giving us the shot we need. If we can just get him to turn broadside, then I'll take the shot, but I don't want to risk it at this range. That should be good, though. Oh, yeah. Um, that was probably lung spine. Ooh, to be honest, we might have just straight spined that. I'm a little worried now. My gosh, people, calm down. <laughs> well, I mean, when there's this many people in here, and they're all in this area, things are bound to be a little bit loud. And honestly, I am a little bit worried because there's people kind of walking in this direction, so we need to hurry up and get over here quickly and claim it. Otherwise, we risk the possibility of somebody else trying to steal it, which is unfortunately a common occurrence in multiplayer. Hopefully, we can get up there before anybody else does, but yeah, that's going to be... I hope we didn't mess it up, but I got a feeling we might have. I really hope it is a diamond, though. I love how this video was supposed to be about the air rifle, and we've barely even used the thing. That... I think that's a diamond rack. Now that I'm looking at this close, that has to be one of the diamond racks. I think this should score around 500 plus. I guess we'll see. I really hope I didn't mess this thing up. I don't see the blood. Actually, there's the blood. It looks good, so I think we should be okay. It's a diamond, 50960, and it's actually a max weight. That is crazy. That is a crazy trophy right there. What a giant elk. Now, this is actually my biggest, I think. I believe this is my biggest elk that I've ever shot. We have two others that score 509, but I think they're a couple uh, decimals lower. That is crazy right there. We get a really small rare black bear, and now we just got this from the exact same server. Uh, while somehow not having anybody else come through and mess with us, which is kind of uh, lucky considering how many people are hunting in this area. I'm kind of surprised that nobody ruined this for us. Now, obviously, anytime that we're in multiplayer and we end up finding a couple crazy trophies like that back to back, it always makes me want to make sure that the server is legit. So we are going to take a little bit of time to spot a bunch of the animals and see if they look normal. Honestly, as of now, things are looking pretty normal to me. We've got some female mountain lions over there. There's a, a, a little female gray one behind them that I spotted earlier. Uh, there was some elk over here. Yeah, right there. That's a pretty normal looking elk. That's a pretty normal looking black bear. So I think we're fine. But with the uh, unfortunate rampant cheating issue in Call of the Wild right now, I always try to make sure after we find something good in multiplayer. But I'm going to assume that this was a low level host and the server got taken over by somebody else when the original host left because everything is looking perfectly fine. And also, while I'm kind of on the topic of uh, cheaters in Call of the Wild, I'm curious what you guys think could be done. Um, as EW has kind of talked about a little bit, adding an anti-cheat into Call of the Wild is kind of a difficult thing to do without it costing a boatload of money and taking years to develop. Uh, unfortunately, it's just kind of how the game was designed. There was no way to implement it nowadays. So, 
let me know what you guys think they could do to try and uh, curve the cheating issue because there is some major problems when it comes to the PC side of Call of the Wild that makes it very hard to enjoy playing multiplayer. A lot of times people will uh, speed hack and things like that and just follow you around and start shooting around you. I've had it happen numerous times to me. It's an unfortunate thing and I'm curious, what do you guys think could be done to kind of stop people from being able to use mods in Call of the Wild? Because let's be honest, nobody enjoys running into a cheater in multiplayer. In most cases, it completely ruins your hunt because they'll do stuff like chase you around or steal your trophies or things like that. It's just a very unfortunate thing. Also, I love how we were going to be using the air rifle today and instead we've ended up using the 308 on the two good trophies and uh, the rest of this has just kind of been talking about how much I despise the cheaters in Call of the Wild. You know what, if we can get one of these Bighorn to stop, we will use the air rifle on them, but that might be kind of difficult considering there's mountain lions all over. I just might have to go to a different area in order to uh, do this. Although, even though you can't technically use this on them, I, I just gotta know. I, I gotta know if we can make this happen. I believe this is where we need to aim. This is gonna be tough. Okay, so that was definitely not right. We need to go a little bit higher, I think. But I'm really curious if this will even be able to penetrate into a lung since the mountain lion is one class higher than uh, the classes you're supposed to use the air rifle on. Let's see if we can make this happen. I just need it to stop moving. Come on. There we go. Oh my gosh, I was afraid it was going to run, but we did finally get a shot in there. I guess it was a little bit further than 300, so we had to aim slightly higher than I expected. Now the question is, will it even lose any health? There is absolutely no way. Are you kidding me? It looks like it penetrated into a lung. That is kind of crazy that the air rifle can penetrate into the lung of a mountain lion, which is a higher class than what you're supposed to shoot with the air rifle. At 300 meters? That's insane. Honestly, this rifle is so underrated. I really feel like not enough people use it, and I really feel like we need to use it a little bit more than we have been. Uh, that is about 180 away. Let's do our best to get this on the move. It's gonna be difficult, but maybe we can accomplish it. There we go. We actually nailed that shot right there, and I'm hoping it hit lung. But it's not losing health, so I'm guessing we missed a little. Well, here is our mountain lion tucked away in this bush. Let's see where the shot hit. And it was a right lung hit at 302 meters. That is wild. That is wild that it has enough penetration to do that. I swear the 223 wouldn't be able to. I, I might be wrong on that, but I really feel like this did better than the 223 ever could. All right, well, I think it's time to try a long range mountain goat shot. We unfortunately did not get a good shot on that bighorn sheep. However, I think we'll have a little bit better luck on this mountain goat here, considering it is eating at the moment, although it is moving, which is not a good thing. But that should be perfect right there. That's about 250 away, so we need to aim roughly here. Ooh, don't be moving on me like that. And it, of course it goes down into a dip like that. That's just lovely. All right, I think it's finally out in the open where I uh, need it to be. I had to shoot near it once to try and get it to uh, kind of go where we wanted it to. And I think this will be good right here. Now, the question is, do we go for this? I think so. There we go. <laughs> I hope that has enough penetration to get a frontal lung shot. That would honestly make my day if it did. Oh my gosh, it did. <laughs> that is incredible. The fact that this thing can actually do that just blows my mind. Another reason why this is an awesome rifle to use, it, it really doesn't get used nearly as much as it should. It's super effective and quiet, which makes it honestly a pretty viable choice if you want to stealthily take out multiple animals from one herd before they spook. Well, that's going to be a problem. I did not realize that it went down there. I'm going to just hope I don't die here. There's a high chance I will because they kind of changed the way damage works uh, when Rancho came out. And so you can no longer quick heal. Ooh, that is so, so lucky. 
Oh my gosh. Well, we somehow survived that fall. And we can actually take a look at what happened here with this mountain goat. Yeah, that was a frontal left lung shot. That's crazy. From 250 meters as well. Man, I am absolutely loving the way this is working out. That is awesome. Absolutely awesome. Okay. Why did he make the uh, challenge <laughs> harvest three Roosevelt elk on Silver Ridge Peaks? There's no elk here. Or no Roosevelt elk at least. Interesting. G gotta love it. Now nobody can complete that. Alright, it's time for another 300 meter shot, and I've always wondered, why do the mountain goats move forward while they're eating? I've noticed that they've been doing that. It's really interesting, and it makes it kind of hard to line up a perfect shot sometimes. But I think that's about as good as we're going to get, about 289. Let's just hope this works out. Oh, wow. That definitely worked out. But the flight time was crazy. That took so long to impact. But it did get vitals. There he is, and man did this thing run a long, long ways. A total of 133 meters, and I think I didn't even grab the original track, so it was probably a little bit more than that even. But that is a very nice looking level 4, and the air rifle did plenty good at that range. Did extremely well, actually. And here we are in the Trophy Lodge to take a look at these two giants. This is such a beautiful Rocky Elk. I will have to go see if this is our biggest because that is just absolutely amazing. Unfortunately, it was not the light gray fur type like I would love to uh, find another of. It was just a regular common, but I mean, it is what it is. It's still a giant bull and you can't really be mad at that. This is such a beautiful trophy. And then over here we have our brown black bear, which is the first rare black bear we have shot since they uh, changed the way the uh, fur types spawn for black bear. This used to be just a common, but after Mississippi's update, it became a rare, and they really seem to be some of the more rare things in the game right now. So this was really cool to find. I definitely would have preferred getting a blonde or a cinnamon, but I will take a brown as well. They're still really awesome. Uh, definitely not quite as vibrant and cool looking as the cinnamon or the uh, blonde, but they're still pretty nice. But anyway, guys, I think that is going to be it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below on, like I was talking about earlier, what you guys think uh, EW could do to kind of tame down the cheating issue in Call of the Wild because it's got pretty bad in the last few months, and I mean... Uh, there are certain content creators that are partially to blame for that because of the promotion of it, but I mean it is what it is. What can you do? But let me know what you guys think could be done to kind of reduce the amount of cheating in multiplayer at least. And uh, I will try to respond to as many of the comments as I can. But with that being said, thank you guys for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!